Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ASRT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then in this situation, it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very impressive bounce. I mean, when you stop and think about that, just on Tuesday, the price was down that low. Now all of a sudden the price is all the way up there. Any rational person would say, yeah, that's been a very nice move. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around the single area down here at, let's see, what is that? $1.40. Why is $1.40 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $1.40. If the price were to go down to $1.40, and then just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? From a very literal perspective, that would literally be putting the price right back to where it was when it was flirting with those lows. Whereas on the flip side of things, let's say the price came down here, which would be, whoops, grab the wrong thing there. If the price did come down there, which would be a pretty big pullback, but it went down that level, however, in this situation behaved like that, now all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have, progress being made in the upward direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And again, in this situation, quote unquote progress being defined as a dollar forty. What about levels of resistance going forward? Well, as of right now, the key level of resistance that the price is doing battle with is right there at that purple line, the 50 period moving average. So not very shocking at all to see the price struggling with that area. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that level can't be broken or anything like that. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price is currently struggling at that area. So keep an eye on that. That'll be definitely be the near-term battleground the price will have to fight through. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Very impressive movement today. And now the question definitely transitions to, can the price build upon this momentum going forward? We will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.